For this segment of A Bit of Addison History, we will examine the development of two subdivisions in Addison in the late 1960s to the early 1970s. Kings Point West and Kings Point Three were the ninth and 10th developments of the Justin A. Caron Construction Company. In a March 15, 1969 Chicago Tribune ad, Caron Construction Company states, it's true and we're happy to announce the newest addition to the Caron family of communities, Kings Point West, our ninth in the Addison area. The site for Kings Point West was located a quarter mile north of the original Kings Point development. Construction on underground improvements and streets was expected to start in March. The development was on a square parcel of land. The main street, Kings Point Drive, circled the inside perimeter of the parcel and had two cul-de-sac streets from the northern and southern sections of the drive penetrate towards the center of the property. In total, 131 building sites were available for sale. Since Kings Point West had no streets or buildings, Quran directed potential buyers to visit the three model homes fully furnished and decorated at its companion community, Kings Point. It touted that you could make your lot and home selection and be ready to move in by summer. The advertisement features its Herald House model as typical of the type of houses to be built at Kings Point. The bi-level house was a four bedroom with two and a half baths, family room, and two car garage. Kings Point West homes, including lot, were priced from $33,950 to $41,950. In September 1969, a Trib article announced the opening of the development during the annual Festival of Homes. A new Spanish home model called the Grande was highlighted. The Grande was a raised ranch style home with up to five bedrooms, three baths, and a two-car garage for a list price of $45,900. Its architecture and interior appointments had a Spanish flavor. Inside, rounded arches were visible as one went up a short flight of steps to the living room, and another to the kitchen, and two to the dining room. This, along with the cathedral ceiling lighting fixtures, made for a dramatic entrance. Three bedrooms and two baths were on the upper level. Buyers could choose whether or not to have the lower level finish as their budget permitted. Another original model for the development was called the Hampton. The four bedroom, two and a half bath bi-level home featured a U-shaped plan with a two car garage and bedroom wing extending to the front. The Hampton was available in four exterior elevations. It was also available without a garage and an unfinished lower level. The combination brick and vertical rough sawn cedar siding provided a handsome exterior. Entry to the home was through a front courtyard leading to a foyer. At one side of the foyer, the living room and dining room L were located. Both rooms featured cathedral ceilings and an abundance of windows. Just off the dining room was the food preparation area of the kitchen with abundant countertops and cabinet space. A dinette area was situated adjacent to this area. A wide stairway in the foyer led to the bedroom level. Four bedrooms with ample closet space, including a master bedroom with private bath, were located on that level. The lower level could feature a finished family room with bar and rough sawn cedar paneling, an optional fireplace along with a utility room with laundry facilities. A half bath was located near the stairway to service both the lower and upper living levels. The third model was called the Cameron and also came in four exterior designs. It was an eight room house with two baths and over 1,900 square feet of living space, 
exclusive of the garage. All the exteriors of the model homes, which opened at Kings Point West, were decorated in, quote, earthy colors. The inspiration came from nature's own palette, according to Cole Caron of the company. By September 1972, another model called the Saxony was available. This split-level home had a rustic exterior and boasted vaulted ceilings in the living room, dining room, and kitchen dinette area. The Saxony was sold as a three or a four bedroom house with two to three bathrooms. By October 1973, Caron Construction Company announced Kings Point 3, its 10th development in suburban Addison. The community was to consist of 100 homes on an additional 35 acres of land. Of these, 3.5 acres were to be set aside for a park and recreational area. By 1975, Sunset Park along Kenmore Avenue was completed. The three and four bedroom homes available in this subdivision were a ranch, a raised ranch, a bi-level, and a tri-level design. The homes ranged from 1,300 square feet to 1,900 square feet with basements optional in some models. The homes were designed by Ray Basso and Associates. The Norwood was a three bedroom raised ranch model with one and a half baths and was priced from $50,500. A short flight of stairs led up to a tiled foyer. To the right and up a few steps was the living room and dining areas. The spacious kitchen could be accessed from the dining area or the hall which led to the bedroom wing. Three bedrooms occupied a wing to the left of the main living area. The master bedroom had two closets and a private entrance into the compartmented bath. The lower level of the home had a family room with optional fireplace, powder room, utility room, and an optional fourth bedroom. The Camden was a three bedroom home with one and a half baths. It included a living room with cathedral ceiling, adjoining dining room, and kitchen. Three bedrooms were located up a few stairs from the main living area. The master bedroom had its own private entry to the shared bathroom. The lower level included a recreation room, laundry room, powder room, and crawl space. The home also included a two-car garage and was priced from $50,600. The Essex model was a three bedroom ranch and was priced from $51,100. The model featured a combined kitchen and family room and living room. The bedrooms were to the right of the main living area. Each had closet space and were convenient to the full bath. The lower level had an unfinished basement and crawl space and two car garage was included in the price of the home. The largest model was the contemporary split level, the Stratford. This four bedroom and two and a half bath home was priced from $54,400. The living room, dining room, and kitchen featured cathedral ceilings. The kitchen was large enough for family meals with its dinette area. The family room was just a few stairs away from the kitchen and enjoined the laundry room and powder room. The two-car garage was accessed from the laundry room. Upstairs were four bedrooms and two full baths. The master bedroom featured a walk-in closet and its own private bath. A basement and a three-bedroom upper level were options. To learn more about Addison subdivisions, check out our YouTube segments on other Addison residential developments or visit the Addison Historical Museum.